What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Call of Duty Vanguard yet again. Uh, today is Sunday. At the time of me recording this, uh, the video should be going up on Tuesday, so a day after Labor Day. Hopefully, you guys had a good Labor Day. Let me know in the comment section right now, what did you guys do? You guys go on a picnic, barbecue, just take a day off and chill, you play some Warzone. Uh, whatever you guys did, let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, like I said, today I wanna to talk about Call of Duty Vanguard not so much in particular skill-based matchmaking, although I will cover matchmaking as a topic a little bit in the beginning here. More so, I want to talk about combat pacing and why I think it's a really good thing in Call of Duty Vanguard. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. I Nobody's seen it yet. We haven't experienced it yet, but I think just on paper, it sounds like a good idea. It sounds like it'll be useful and helpful, I think, in terms of just like Call of Duty and things like that. So let me know what you think about combat pacing after I talk about it in, this, uh, you know, in the comment section down below. Let me know all your thoughts on the video with all that being said hopefully you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you did and i will uh kick it off here talking about matchmaking it's really no surprise that matchmaking has always kind of been you know a hot topic when it comes to call of duty and even other fps shooters i'm noticing now a lot of people talk about like apex valorant things like that you know a lot of people are talking about matchmaking how it affects everything it's, to a degree there needs to be skillless matchmaking especially in ranked playlists uh, i think the problem that a lot of people cod fans had is that it was just skill-based matchmaking in casual playlists and people just felt like there was no point you know if i want to sweat i'm gonna sweat in league play uh, there was actually reports that i think a lot of people said uh, that they would actually prefer playing league play because it's easier than casual modes because the matchmaking is like maybe not as good in league play i don't know that's just what people were saying so I, I thought that was interesting how a casual playlist might have higher skill based than uh you know than than league play but but i mean that's obviously to be tested needs to be tested needs to be decided but the reason why i wanted to bring up matchmaking just in general is because combat pacing is a new experience a new system here in call of duty vanguard that's going to allow for greater customization when it comes to multiplayer so you're going to have three distinct forms uh three different like individualistic modes uh, so that each player can play to their liking. Of course, I'm going to cover each mode and why I think it's a good idea. Uh, but before I do, I just want to you know, gauge kind of the audience here. Do you think that this is a good idea to kind of split the big group of players that we match make normally with? Do you think it's a good idea to split it into like more separate pools? Or should it just be regular like you know one big group and then just we pick from that group um or we match make from that group rather so let me know in the comment section down below or do you think it's better to just have like a set like intensity of your game uh, that you can choose ahead of time. All right, so first Vanguard combat pacing mode up is tactical. Those familiar with the previous COD experiences are going to pretty much expect it. It's going to be your regular 6v6 matches, uh, no different from what the community has grown accustomed to. So tactical combat pacing is going to be regular 6v6 matches. Hopefully it's going to be maps like Summit, like Slums, maybe your Nuke Town, maybe your Shoot House, you know, uh, Dome from Mono for 3, like these good, small, well paced maps i think that's what we're missing when it comes to 6v6 in multiplayer these days um the, a lot of the new maps from mono warfare cold war they are not built for 6v6 some of them are built for 8v8 some of them are 10 for 10 some of them are even 12v12 uh I'm, you know i'm looking at you atlas superstore azure cave uh piccadilly like um, i'm good when it comes to playing 6v6 matches on these maps like i'm good bro i don't need to i don't need to play 6v6 azure cave for fun that's just not for me uh so I'm hoping, like I said, it's going to be your slums, your standoff, like that kind of regular size maps, um, you know, hopefully like maps that encourage movement, maps that don't have too many head glitches. Uh, of course, we're going to have to see, you know, I heard that the Vanguard maps are ultimately kind of a mix of Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare. Don't know how that's going to work because Black Ops 1 had pretty good maps and Modern Warfare had pretty bad maps. So maybe it'll be a mix of good and bad. The next Vanguard combat pacing up is Assault. Uh, so to ramp things up, ex Assault is going to expand and the lobby size up from 6v6 all the way up to 14 versus 14 so in my opinion it's going to be kind of like old school ground war not the new school ground war where they have you know uh part of the war zone map and you're playing you know sni who can snipe who first uh not that mode um more so the ground war where it's kind of like 12v12 back in the day but this is obviously going to go up to 14 versus 14 i guess kind of more so like what's that mode fire team fire team not fire team dirty bomb i honestly forget the mode in in uh cold 
cold War because i haven't played in so long but basically you're 12v12 in that mode a uh, combined arms i think that's what it's called yeah i mean honestly that mode didn't really do it for me mainly because of the maps i think it's just the maps were just didn't fit the play style and i think that's what call of duty is suffering from if it we're gonna have 14 people make it so i see people every uh, I, I don't know 20 to 45 seconds you know maybe like 10 to 20 seconds maybe 10 to 30 seconds even that's a pacing that i want when i play you know combined arms or mono for 66 it feels like a like a two to three minute pacing when i see someone it's that's just not fun all right that's just not what i play cod for i don't play cod to look around the map for an hour and get you know play for an hour and get 15 kills that's, that's not what i want to have fun with i want to you know play cod a 10 minute match maybe get like 40 50 kills you know think black ops 4 black ops 2 black ops 3 that's the pacing that i want that's the pacing that i prefer these new call of duties their combat pacing is just kind of off and uh, that's what i'm nervous for honestly because while these you know 6v6 14 versus 14 and the next one is going to be blitz it's going to be 28 uh, verse 28 i think up to 28 verse 28 while these are fine and dandy it really doesn't matter unless the map size allows for that pacing right um so if you put 14 versus 14 on shoot house that's bad pacing you're seeing people too often if you're putting 6v6 on you know armada uh, not armada strike but just armada the boat that's really bad pacing because you're seeing one person every what four minutes probably like you know i think the pacing has to be in my personal opinion it's got to be close to 20 to 40 seconds every couple you know every 20 to 40 seconds maybe even less maybe every 10 to 30 seconds you got to see someone okay think of it like uh, like you're on a crank timer you know, if you don't see someone in 30 seconds you die that's kind of the way i think about it uh when i when i play call of duty that's how it should be in my opinion that's why we're playing call of duty right <laughs> otherwise play battlefield if you want to go look for people go play uh rainbow six siege if you want to mount on a corner for two hours like this is call of duty it's it, call of duty is run and gun it's fast paced it should be action packed i don't want you know oh he sent me from a million miles away and he's going to do it again because the spawns are bad that's not fun i don't want i'm looking for you know one person in in five hours of playing that's not fun either okay this is call of duty it's not a scavenger hunt and i alluded to it earlier but uh yeah combat pacing blitz is the last one again it's going to be 28 players max uh, on each team so up to 48 to 56 players in total that's going to be apparently a lot of chaos uh it looks like you'll be in a gunfight every two seconds based on this so that is very fast it looks like uh, kill streaks will be constant on you uh i think a lot of people now hopefully the lobbies will stick with 6v6 or like i mean not 6v6 but like six players max in a lobby because if you could roll up <laughs> 28 of your own you know homies or whatever against 28 other homies that would be cool but if you're just hopping in solo i don't want to play against a team of 28 okay that's just not going to be fun i barely you know want to play against a team of six so it's cool that it looks like gunfights will be very frequent uh maybe the maps are super small you know maybe the maps are the same throughout each mode that would be wild right because then 6v6 maybe it's just like expanded right maybe they have like your 16 maps right 16 maps at launch and then one of them uh you know take a uh, nuketown or something you know it's gonna be 66 and then maybe they expand nuketown for you know your uh, your assault and then maybe they like triple it for blitz or something like that that would be kind of cool that way it's the same map but just you know kind of more so more of it uh, i'm not too worried about the map count honestly because it looks like we're getting 20 in total 16 at launch honestly dude i'm hyped for vanguard all right there, there's no reason to not be hyped up right now unless you are bored of like the weapons or you hate world war ii or i guess skill based but you know when it comes to just content we're good on content we're good on development time i'm hoping that they play tested this game it looks like there's a lot of guns it looks like there's going to be you know obviously a lot of maps streaks look good the the ability the marketing looks good you know they're they're hyping it up the alpha was fine it wasn't great but it was fine you know it got it gave you a taste i think they're definitely you know they being sledgehammer games i think they're definitely uh looking to improve they're definitely looking to help out the community just hit my table there uh they're definitely looking to help out the community in terms of like uh, what do you guys want to see will accommodate you know and i think that's better than infinity ward just uh you know here's as your cave take it or leave it <laughs> that's just not for me uh but anyway that's pretty much it for the video i think i'm pretty much running out of time here let me know your thoughts on combat pacing like i said i think it's a great idea i think it'll play really well 
and I don't see any negatives to it. But you know, if I'm missing anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if you're hyped for Vanguard, let me know. Leave a like on the video if you are. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I know we're going back to work, so it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Have a great week, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.